Hey everyone, welcome to the snorkel episode of 4 wheel drive DIY. Now today I'm going to be fitting a second snorkel to Betsy. First off, before we get started, I'm going to go over all the tools you'll need to get this job underway. Of course, if you're drilling holes in a body, you'll need a drill. Standard, average drill. Um, if it's an impact drill, make sure it's not on impact because you will hammer the crap out of your panel. You'll need your socket set. You'll need a hole saw. Now, some hole saws will be big enough to do the job. Some will require a bit of filing. Need some tape. Depending on whether your kit comes with rivets, whether you want to use the rivets or not, you'll need a rivet gun. Put rivets in. You'll need your snorkel, obviously, and the rest of the components to fit the said snorkel. And last but not least, you'll need your template. You can either have the template that comes with it. Or you can make your own. There's another video on the channel about how I made this template. So if you get a chance, feel free, duck in and watch that. Okay, your first step is to line up your template. Now I've either got this one here, which is the one I made up, which would work fine. Or I have this one here came with the snorkel. It's up to you which one you want to use. Keeping in mind, it's good to have a snorkel here to check which it is. As you can see, the snorkel will sit about there, where I want to put the hole. Whichever the template gets that hole right there. Also avoids me fouling on my door and everything. If I want to... Okay. This is the hardest bit of doing it, is getting your template in the right spot. So we're using the template that I made up last night, which is much better fit to the 60 yard. Well, it is an exact replica of the side of the song, rather than this MQ patrol guard, which sort of doesn't, doesn't suit quite right. Because obviously this is a 60 series land cruiser, not an MQ patrol. So, the next step is grab your paint pen, mark out the dots, mark out your hole, should be good. Try not to get paint all over your car like I just did. Okay. This is the bit that most people find the most harrowing part of doing it. So we've measured out the snorkel, we've got all the holes in the right spot, everything's all good. Now comes the bit that most people dread. Most people hate this bit because here I have one perfectly fine 60 series guard and I'm about to put holes in it. But to fit your snorkel, it needs to be done. mounting holes drill. At the moment they're undersized. That's fine because while they're still small you can still cover them up with a snorkel and you can still drill a hole a couple of mils either side if you need to. If you go start off straight up drilling the biggest hole you need to then that's that's where stuff starts going wrong. So we've got them all undersized for now. Now we've got to drill the main hole. This is where a hole saw comes in. So, most hole saws you buy will have varying sizes. We're going to need the biggest size for this one. But, 
those of you that haven't used a hole saw before, they just come apart. And yes, I know for some people here who are doing this, it'll be a bit of sucky for me for showing you how a hole saw works. Keeping in mind that some people who watch these videos literally have never touched a car before in their life. So basically that just goes into your drill, whack him right in the centre there. Now, if you don't know how to find the centre of a hole, then my, my advice is, find your centre, do your crosses, draw a nice little wagon wheel over, find your centre, give it a centre punch, etc. Been working on cars for a while, done this a few times, be able to go, yep, bang, that's the center. So, okay, once you know where your center of your hole is, best bet is to drill a pilot hole in it. This means you can now tape up the guard around it. The reason you tape up the guard is because these teeth will grip, they will grip hard, they will pull, they will tear. So what happens if your paint is a nice solid surface will try and tear with it? So what you want to do is tape up all around your hole, nice big circle around your hole, and then you can drill with your hole saw and not cut the crap out of it. But otherwise what will happen is your paint will shatter and you'll end up with these big chunks of paint missing off your guard, which you don't want. And that is precisely why you don't buy a cheap hole saw. But that's fine. Because there is an alternative if you don't have a hole saw. And I'll show you that now. Okay, as you saw, my hole saw was buggered. There is an alternative. Stitch cutting. Basically what you want to do is you want to cut a ring of holes around the edge where you need them. That'll enable you to then just knock out the panel. So we're going to do that now. Done. I know what some of you are going to say. That looks like it's been butchered to within an inch of its life, and you're right. But this is what I said how you might need to file the hole bigger. Now we have our hole. We're going to remove all the tape. So much harder when this cutting compound on there. The cutting compound allows you to drill the cut better and also allows it to cool. Not run anywhere near as hot. This is not cutting by friction anymore. It's cutting using its blades. You get those people that power through a drill on friction and that just doesn't work. There we go, we've got our hole now. Now you can see where I've scribbled bigger than the hole, but that was the center. Now I've got a nice central hole. Now, I'm gonna go grab a file and file it out. I shouldn't need to show you how to file. Just need to file all these burrs off and then test fit with the snorkel. So, we'll go get to that bit now. Okay, so I've got the holes filed out. I've got the snorkel up and mounted. Now. One thing to do is make sure the studs in the back of the snorkel are tightened. You can use an Allen key to tighten them. Uh, for this one, it was 4.5mm Allen key. You've got 
tighten that right up nice and tight and you're good. Now what you need to do is make sure you put the washer on. Once it's on the guard and once it's slid into position, throw the washer on the guard and then do up the nut. Now the best way to do it is to grab out the ratchet spanner because that allows you to get inside the guard, get over it and even if you're only going a couple of degrees at a time, you don't need to go that far in order to get it done up. Now it might take forever, there is bugger all room. Now by fitting now by fitting a patrol snorkel to a land cruiser, I wasn't able to use the back stud here, so that means I've yet to use two front studs and I'll be using the top mount. Now the easiest way to do the top mount Get in position here, it's all well and good, nice and inside the channel there. Now, what you can do from here is you can actually get your drill, a nice long drill bit. Now for the back here, you can get your drill, a nice long drill bit, get in through here, and just drill your hole straight up. Now, my personal way of doing it, and some people would, you know, I know will disagree with me, is to jump in here and use some tech screws. Now, now that you know where it is, though, you can mark off where it sits. The easiest way is to unbolt it from the back of the snorkel. You get a bit of movement of the snorkel out of the way, even with it bolted to the guard. And then you can drill your holes, drop it back down in position, and then work the tech screws through using a long bit. Easiest way to do it. Quick, simple, job done. Thanks for watching this episode of Four Wheel Drive DIY. Don't forget to like and subscribe us on Facebook and YouTube, and stay tuned for the next episode where we build and fit the entire custom intake system to Betsy.